to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and before we get into today's video just a reminder some great news the design of experiments for 21st century engineers the mini tab version has just been released. I know for those of you unfortunate enough to have selected Minitab you have a great deal of difficulty in understanding this software so we've created this special version of this text with the Minitab screenshots. The link to lulu.com where you can buy this book is in the description below and of course you also have the option of purchasing Drink Tea and Read the Paper which is the perfect book to go with your Green Belt or Six Sigma Black Belt training. The link to lulu.com for that book is also in the description below. And of course the other thing that we'd really love you to do, please go to buymeacoffee.com and make a small donation. All of these things, the purchase of the books and the donations, they help keep the channel moving. I'm really grateful to all of those people who are currently donating. Many thanks for your support and your help. And now, let's get on with today's video. Welcome to the latest video. And in this video newsletter, we're going to have a very quick look at Office 5S. So this is one of the areas where I see more damage done to businesses than any other area. And of course, as we move away from manufacturing in the UK and in other countries, more of us are working in offices and just doing, um, you know, transactional type processes. And so 5S in the office um, is kind of important. If you get it wrong, you are going to destroy the productivity of your business. If you get it right, your business is simply going to grow and you're going to make bucket loads of cash. So we're going to talk about Office 5S and in particular, I want to make sure that we get this off the agenda. The clean desk policy. If anybody in your company says we have a clean desk policy, you have my permission to sack them on the spot. They are idiots. Good 5S. I know that we need a, a, an orderly workplace, an organized workplace. That doesn't mean a clean desk, however. And I just wanted to show you a really good example of terrible 5S. Um, and of course, it's got to come from the government. In this case, it's coming from my local tax office. So I'll show you an example of what 5S could look like in, a, uh, in an office um, and how we've taken a step backwards here at the tax office. Brilliant. So here's my example. It's quite simple. They've sent me a tax bill. It says uh, self-assessment tax, tax calculation. Now, it's a fine document. They tell me how much I owe etc and they even give me a little calculation on how it's worked out now obviously once they've sent me the tax bill what's the next thing that i'm going to want to do what's the next thing that they want me to do they want me to pay the tax so of course on this document they've told me how to pay the bill haven't they they've put the bank account so the information is at the point of activity for the fastest, the fastest process that the customer could possibly achieve. Uh, well, well, there's lots of blank paper. Um, see, they, they could have told me how to process the tax bill there, there. No, they don't bother. They don't bother to tell me how to pay the bill. What they do give me, though, is they say, oh, if you want to know how to pay, Go and log into another website. I'm thinking, you've, you've sent me the bill on a piece of paper. Why don't you tell me how to pay the bill? Information at the point of activity. 5S. Fastest process, cheapest process, least frustrating process. That's what 5S is. 
definitely isn't this. So this is their document from 2023. Now, under my desk, I keep certain documents, uh, being self-employed, we all do it. And I happened to find a tax document from 2016. Now, this isn't my personal tax bill, it's my corporation tax bill, but it's the same idiots who work in the tax office. Um, now, back in 2016, what did they do? Well, they sent me the bill. There was a form look to fill out that I could use to take to my bank. I could take it to the post office. Um, I could pay online. And look what's on the back of the document. How to pay. Information about direct debits, paying at your bank, pay at the post office, etc., etc. It's all there. I can pay any way I choose and the information is at the point of activity. That is a fantastic example of a step backwards in the 5S of the local tax authority, the HMRC, in the United Kingdom. But it's also a great example of what 5S should be in an office. It isn't about this. It's about how do I make sure my desk has all my materials, my fastest moving material is closest, my printer is closest, my paper is closest, any documents I need that are fast moving, they are closest, that the, the, all the work as it comes in is in an order, first in, first out, that type of organization. If somebody, if I was away from the desk and somebody wants to find information, how orderly is my desk so it's the fastest search that anybody could make through the papers on my desk. That is what 5S is about. The fastest, the slickest, the most efficient, information at the point of activity, equipment at the point of activity, speed, money-making processes. Thank you, HMRC, for a fantastic example of how not to do it. Don't do what these idiots are doing in the tax office. Make your process faster and less frustrating and make more money with great Office 5S.